What's going on guys? Mr. TechBot here. It is July 10, 2022 and this is your 5 Minutes of Disney. What's going on guys? Welcome to 5 Minutes of Disney where we talk about some of the biggest news going on around the Disney World parks. For those of you who love character dining meals and love planning the vacations around them, Disney World will be welcoming back three returning favorites back to your list. To start off, Crystal Palace and Magic Kingdom will be welcoming back Winnie the Pooh and characters such as Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore, and Tigger, of course. Can't forget Tigger. Um, this character breakfast will be for lunch and dinner and will be returning on September 20th. Also at Ohana in the Polynesian Resort, they will be welcoming back the breakfast with Lilo and Stitch and friends. A lot of times usually you have Mickey and Pluto in there as well. We'll be returning on September 27th. Cape May at the Beach Club Resort uh, will be welcoming back Minnie's Beach Bash breakfast uh, on October 4th. If these were one of your favorites or you want to try these for the first time, please make sure to go on the Disney Parks app and set a reservation as these are a very popular three locations that a lot of people will be going after. Also great news that Disney has recently shared some awesome images of the Tron light cycle run. The location is currently in ride testing phase so uh, they still have a lot of construction going on. I'm sure we're still within the building as well as everything going on outside of the building but they try to start ride testing as early as possible. Uh, this phase can sometimes be a very long process. Um, in my experience being out here in Disney, every time I've heard of ride testing started, this process can take anywhere from six to eight months uh, to process um, as they want to make sure the ride is 100% safe uh, for guests to be able to go on to it. Now, with that said, as, as I believe they've been ride testing for a little bit, I this is my personal opinion. I believe that, they, that this is probably going to last for another six months or so. Disney has not yet, however, released an opening day for Tron Light Cycle, as sometimes ride testing can produce setbacks uh, for the ride. But if everything goes well, I think that we could be looking at a possible uh, end of the year opening or possible beginning of the year. Stay tuned here as I will give you more updates as Disney releases them. So new 50th merchandise has been spotted out here in Disney World. It is a large uh, hard case suitcase. Now Disney has been putting out suitcases for a while, a lot of soft cases, stuff like that, because of course you all need suitcases for the extra merchandise you all buy um, out here in Disney World. But this thing looks fantastic. If you are a Disney 50th anniversary or love any of the 50th anniversary merchandise, this is a must have. It's got great blue, different blue shades of this iridescent uh, blue that they are using, along with multiple characters on the front, including the Fab Five in their 50th anniversary dress, along with that fantastic 50th anniversary logo with the castle. Uh, you can find this hard case in multiple locations around Disney World for $1.99. To be honest with you, for a large hard case suitcase, that's not bad for Disney. I'm actually not horribly upset by that price, to be honest with you. Over at Disney Springs, there is going to be the Zombie Bash over at Disney Springs. This is, of course, uh, welcoming in the Zombies 3 uh, that will be coming on Disney Plus and Disney Channel. This will be a 20-minute show, which will include Zombie Dance and Sing Along. Uh, this will be at the Marketplace stage for a limited time from August 5th to August 14th. Zombies 3 will be premiering on Disney Plus on July 15th and will be premiering on Disney Channel on August 12th. Staying over at Disney Springs, of course, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this from other channels um, as uh, this has been, was announced a long time ago, but now it is happening. Um, of course, we have the Flavors of Florida event uh, that has found its way over to the Disney Springs. This is a Sunshine State inspired event that will be held from July 5th to August 14th. You will find great items such as the Blood Orange Eclair at Amaretz, the Sunshine Shake at the Chicken Guy, the Lime and Orange Garage Burger over at Deluxe Burger, 
Uh, also the Citrus Dream Donut over at Everglaze Donuts and many, many more. So many different uh, vendors are taking part in this great event. So get out to Disney Springs, check out some of the great items. Uh, Other than that, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for hanging out with me on this five minutes of Disney. And don't forget to smash that like button as well as leave me a comment. I have great discussions with you guys, especially last week about that uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. And then also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells. So that way you get notified every week when I put up a new five minutes of Disney. Other than that, as we like to say here at Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love, and always, guys, unleash your inner nerd. Take it easy.